Happy May 2023. Uh, I want to give you a real quick uh, Denver real estate market update. So to give you some quick stats and we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on. Uh, the number of inventory is up compared to last year. It's up about 44%. It's at 4,620 properties. That includes condos, townhomes, and uh, detached single family homes. And by the way, these stats are coming from the Denver Metro Association of Realtors. And uh, also the median sales price for the Denver Metro area is about 580. Uh, that's down about 6% from last year. Uh, it's going up 2.47% uh, from last month though. Uh, the, for, for detached single family homes, 640 is your median price. And for condos, townhomes, 410 is your median price. And like I said, about down to about 6% compared to last year at this time. Uh, and then the days on market is 29 days on the market. Uh, it is a little bit slower than it was last year. Uh, there's not quite as much buyer activity with the interest rates still being in the mid sixes, but uh, homes are still selling. We just price, condition, location, all those things are uh, really matter. And how the how the home shows uh, is going to make a big difference if you're gonna if you're looking to sell your home. So those are some of the stats. Uh, some of the hot topics right now, the biggest hot topic in Denver is the property tax assessments. So you've probably seen it already in the mail. You've gotten your, your updated property, uh, property home valuation uh, where the, the county assessor has given you a value for your home. And uh, with it, it could be fair, it could be too high, it could be too low or anywhere in between. Uh, if you feel like your home value is too high, if you couldn't have sold it for that, June 30th of 2022 or last spring. If you feel like you couldn't have sold it for that much, please let me know. I can help you find comps and talk to you more about how to navigate uh, the appeals process. Uh, I did take a class this week. It was a great class. It was with the Douglas County Assessor and he gave us lots of tips and tricks and, and ideas and information on how to uh, best approach the appeal process. This year they're gonna be inundated with appeals because um, statewide, I believe it's 30 to 60% increases, which is huge. With that being said, property values did increase uh, exponentially over the last few years. The thing that's been a little bit tricky for people to kind of visualize and, and understand is that as of late, um, as you see here with my report, home values are down 6% compared to last year. But the tax assessment doesn't uh, take that into account. It's, it's from uh, like June 2020 to June 2022. Anything after June 2022 is not being considered. So really that six month window right before June 30th, 2022 is your best, uh, they're gonna be your best comparables. There, you can use stuff in that two year window, but there's gonna be some time adjustments and really your, your case is gonna be much stronger if, if, if for some reason the, the tax assessment is high and you couldn't have sold it uh, for that price during during uh, the, the six months prior to June 2022. So anyways, that's a hot topic. If you'd like some more information or have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. That's really what's going on in Colorado. You have until June 8th to appeal that. It can be as easy as just filling out the form, uh, just putting, you know, signing it and putting the value you think your home's worth. And then the county assessor will reevaluate things. Uh, from my understanding, about 25 to 50 percent of the time they get they get changed. At least that's what I heard from the Douglas County Assessor. We'll see what happens this year. Um, you can also take pictures or write a bigger, more description of your your property. Maybe your property is not as updated as you think it's being compared to, um, or you know, there's lots of different scenarios. But um, updates, the county does want to have accurate information, and uh, you certainly have the right to appeal it if you'd like. Uh, some of them are going to be kind of in a realistic range. Some of you, it might be uh, lower than you could have sold it for at that time. So uh, anyways, please let me know if I can help with that. Happy May 2023. And uh, there still are, there's always pros and cons to buying and selling real estate at different times of the year. So um, yeah, right now with there's, there's more inventory, but still we're in a low inventory seller's market. Uh, still only about a month of inventory, a little bit more. Uh, and, and as a buyer, if the interest rates do decline in the near future, which we're expecting whenever the recession hits, 
um, there's going to be more buyers entering the market. So if you're a buyer and you're waiting on the sidelines, waiting for rates to drop, just think about the rates may drop, but then you may have to bid and get more competitive with your offers to beat other buyers. Right now, there's not as much competition. So that's a pro right now for buyers. So it's all in the way you look at things. Uh, but my belief is there's always pros and cons. Happy to consult and uh, talk to you about those for your scenarios. And uh, have a great month and go Nuggets.